now let's understand the implementation of the problem so here we took the input in this line and we took the input from 1 to n okay so one based indexing and then at the at this 37th line we sorted it from 1 to n n plus 1 actually because uh, n numbers are there and we took uh, another array p that is the partial sum so this is the partial sum array okay and we just uh, initialized it here so we took the last element of the partial sum array and uh, added it with the current element of the ai okay so and uh, as we said in previously that uh, we uh, we will have minimum answer to be 1 and the maximum answer to be n so we are applying binary search and answer 1 will represent the maximum number of occurrences of a number and answer 2 will represent that number that has the maximum number of occurrences and uh, the number and if there are several numbers like that we will have the minimum number of uh, minimum among them in answer 2 okay and now we are implementing binary search while start is less than or equal to end that means that uh, if uh, start exceeds end or end uh, decreases then uh, end is less than start then we will stop okay and uh, now we are taking the mid of that and we are checking that if it is possible we are checking it in this function if it is possible to have that then we will print the answer to be answer 1 and uh, we will take the answer one to be mid because that would be higher and uh, start uh, we will just uh, now change the range from mid plus one to n uh, mid plus one to end okay and uh, if it is not possible then we will change the range from start to mid minus one okay and we will print both of them now uh, now let's uh, check how we implement it this pause function that uh, checks if uh, it is possible to have mid as our answer or not now in this pause function we took a x p k n and answer as our as our parameters now we are just uh, looping over 1 to n and we are checking for that condition that we previously discussed this is the this is the condition now if it, it would be possible that i minus x would uh, be less than 0 so we applied this extra condition here and if this is possible then we will change our answer to be ai and note that i have implemented it like this because uh, it will be an alias to answer to uh, this uh, uh, answer here in this uh, function this variable here uh, will be the alias to answer to here so whenever we change answer the answer to will also be changed so answer we will have answer to be equal to ai and return true whenever we first find that element because we have to take the minimum of them now uh, we will uh, if uh, we don't find it then we will return false now that's the implementation in this box